Whether you're doing one by accident or on purpose, endos are a great way to bust your ass on a mountain bike. That's all the more reason to get comfortable with endos and practice them frequently. To do an endo, stand up off your seat and apply pressure to your front brake. For starters, try braking a little in the grass and getting your back wheel off the ground just a little bit. To progress further, don't go pushing your brake harder. Instead, move your body further forwards to transfer weight to the front of the bike. On that note, be prepared to release your brake if you feel yourself going too far forwards, as it will allow your bike to return to a normal position. Even then, it may not be enough to save you. I almost always land on my feet when going over the bars, but I'll stop short of telling you to practice this purposely. If you try doing endos enough, you'll be no stranger to going over the bars. Once you feel comfortable with endos, you can learn to do an endo turn. These can be useful for turning around quickly, navigating a sharp turn, or just adding some style to your riding. To do an endo turn, you'll need to turn and then go into an endo. You need to look where you want to be with your eyes to make this work. Once you're up in an endo turn, you'll need to maneuver your bike straight again, or the bike will kind of fold over onto the ground. You can do smaller endo turns and work your way up gradually. I'd say endos are extremely important to learn. Not so much for the sake of doing endos, but rather as a training exercise to gain more control over your bike. Add this to the list of fun techniques you can practice on a mountain bike. Thanks for watching, and ride safe.